According to Professor of Evangelism Brian P. Stone at the Boston University School of Theology, it wasn't until the 70s that this verse soared in popularity when born-again Christians started holding John 3.16 signs at stadiums as a way to spread the gospel. The most famous figure of that era was an eccentric man named Roland Stewart. They called him Rock and Roland, the Superfan, the Rainbow Man. If you watched any major sporting event in the last 15 years, you've seen Roland Stewart in the background. He would dance with a John 316 sign while dressed in a rainbow colored wig, positioning himself behind the goalpost at football games, the home plate at baseball games, and the backboard at basketball games. Stewart, who was nicknamed the Rock and Rollin' Rainbow Man, was notorious on television well into the 80s and is credited with popularizing John 316. Sadly though, Stewart would go on to commit multiple felonies and is currently serving life in prison. His story is the subject of the 1997 documentary Rainbow Man. That was a clip from Bible Unboxed. Watch full videos on our main channel, link in the description.